lesson is the revision of spellings for plurals. Nouns can be singular if there is only one, we have one dog. Or they can be plural, if there's more than one, we have dogs. Usually to make a noun plural we add s or es, so on these words we add s. Dogs, hands, books, tables, beans. But how do we know when we need to add ES? There is a trick. If it sounds like the words ending in IS, or it adds an extra syllable, then you know it adds ES. So we have box, boxes, we have the IS, and the extra syllable. Church, churches. Ash, ashes. Bus, buses. Kiss kisses. So usually if the word ends in x, ch, sh or s sound, you add es and all of the singular nouns add an extra syllable to make the plural. Pause the video while you do this spelling check. Write down these words as plurals. Do you need to add s or es for the plural? If you say it out loud and listen to see if you can hear the z or the extra syllable, it might make it easier. Unpause the video when you're ready to see the answers. Ready for the answers? Game, games, we add S. Glass, glasses, extra syllable, we add ES. Watch, watches, extra syllable, add ES. Desk, desks, just add S. Sandwich, sandwiches, ES. Tick, ticks, just an S. Cross, crosses, ES. Time, times, just add S. Paint, paints, just add S. Bush, bushes, just add ES. Tax, taxes, add ES. Cupboard, cupboards, just add S. So if we look at these words again, they end in s, ch, ch, s, ch, x. We add the es. Just another way to remember it. This rule we've looked at before when we did the prefixes and suffixes video. We still apply it when we're adding the suffix s. So we need to change a y to an i. If the word ends in a consonant, add a y. So penny becomes pennies, city becomes cities, party becomes parties. Each of these Y's has a consonant before it. However, if the word ends in a vowel and then a Y, like AY, EY or OY, we just add an S. So a consonant and a Y, we need to change the Y to an I, add ES. If it's a vowel and a Y, just add S. Pause the video and write these words out. You need to think, do I need an IES or just an S for the plural? Remember to look for the letter before the Y. Is it a vowel or is it a consonant? That will help you. Unpause the video when you're ready for the answers. These are your answers. You should have keys, just add an S because there's a vowel before the Y. Puppies, change the Y to an I, add ES. Flies, change the Y to an I, add ES. Displays, we've got a vowel before the Y, so it's just add S. Boys, there's a vowel before the Y, just add S. Berries, Y to an I, add ES. Ponies, Y to an I, add ES. And babies, Y to an I, add ES. How did you do?
If you need to go back and check that again, you can just rewind. Now we have another rule for words ending in F. If the word in, ends in FF, you just add an S. However, if it ends in F or FE, then we change the F and add VES. So in these, all of these words just end in two Fs. Bluff, cliff, sniff, cuff. Can you remember what we do? Just adding an S. Bluffs, cliffs, sniffs, cuffs. These words end in F, so we need to change the F to VES. So calf becomes calves, elf becomes elves, loaf becomes loaves, and wolf becomes wolves. These are slightly trickier because these end in FE, but we still change the F and then make it VES. So knife becomes knives, life becomes lives, and wife becomes wives. Pause the video while you have a go at spelling these words. You need to think about the rules you've just learned. Do you need to add an S or a VES for the plural? When you're ready, unpause the video and move on to the answers. So scarf will become scarves. Change that F to VES. Life Ends in FE, but we still change the F to VES, wives. Shelf becomes shelves, changing that F again. Cliff has got two Fs. Do you remember what we said? Two said an S for cliffs. Scuff, another one ending in two Fs. We have scuffs, just add an S. Self becomes selves, change the F to VES. Thief becomes thieves, change the F to VES, and knife, remember this one, becomes knives, change the F to VES. And now the rule for words ending in O. This is a little bit trickier, but if you remember this it will help you. With most nouns ending in O, you just add an S, especially if they're musical terms, or words recently introduced from other languages, or abbreviations, so words that have been shortened, like hippo, we can take off the potamus. Or words ending in two vowels. Let's have a look at some of these. So in the musical terms, we have piano, cello, piccolo. We just add an S to those. These words have come from other languages. So bongos, geckos and yo-yos just add an S. If the word's been shortened, so hippopotamus down to hippo, we just add the S. Rhinoceros down to rhino, we just add an S. Kilogram to kilo, we just add an S. So shortened words, just an S. Words ending in two vowels, again we just add an S. So zoos, igloos, tattoos. Try and remember these pictures, they might help you when you're writing. There are some exceptions to this rule though, and we need to add ES to form the plural. These ones you just need to remember. So if we have one potato, but lots of potatoes, we add ES. One hero, or lots of heroes, we add the ES. One tomato, but lots of tomatoes, ES. One echo, lots of echoes, ES. Volcano, Volcanoes, ES. There's just some for you to remember. Then we have irregular plurals where you don't add S or ES or F to VES. This time the whole word changes. Again, these are ones you need to remember. One mouse becomes lots of mice. One goose becomes lots of geese. This is a tricky one. One ox becomes lots of oxen. One louse becomes lice, a little like mouse and mice. That would be an easy way for you to remember that one. One man becomes lots of men. One woman, which has the man in, becomes lots of women. 
So we still have the men in, man and men. Lots of children, the singular, that would be one child. Lots of people, the singular would be one person. This one you will know. Two feet or one foot. A mouthful of teeth or one tooth. Cactus, another tricky one. One cactus, but lots of cacti. Now wait for this one. One sheep, lots of sheep. The word doesn't change for the singular or the plural. Now for your challenge. Pause the video while you have a go at this. For the red words, you've been given the plural. You need to write the singular form of these words. For the blue words, you've been given the singular nouns. You need to write the plural nouns. Make sure you think about all the rules that we've learned so far in this video. When you're ready, unpause the video to find the answers. Write your answers. The singular should be table, church, remember it ends in ch, cross, ends in ss, city, remember you have to go back to the y, donkey, puppy, you need to go back to the y, mouse, cliff, wolf, go back to the f, not the v, knife, remember the f, not the v, piano, potato, neither of those have an e on the end, cactus, remember that us on the end for the singular, and person. The plural of these words will be paints, just add an s, sandwiches, add es because you've got the ch there and you've added an extra syllable, tax, taxes, extra syllable, you need es, parties, y to ies, journeys, you just add an s, I've got a vowel before the y, babies, y to an i, add es, ox, oxen, did you remember that tricky one? Sniff, sniffs, just add an s. Loaf, loaves, change the f to v e s. Wife, wives, change the f to v e s. Kilos, just add an s because it's shortened from the word kilogram. Heroes, it's one of those tricky ones, you need to add the e s. Sheep and sheep, same word for singular and plural. And women, remember it has men in for the plural. How did you do? If you need to go back and check on any of the spelling rules, you can rewind the video and look at the ones that you need to work on next. Thank you very much for joining us again. Hopefully now you can change singular words into plural with all of the tricky rules that we've learnt along the way. Have a look in your reading book and see if you can spot any of those spelling rules in the plurals as you're reading. Keep reading and we'll see you soon. Bye bye now.